Hi, Ava and Trudy. This is Yvonne. I am a Scorpio, one of your number one fans. Uh, so before I start, sh uh, you know, sweeten everything up and telling you how much, how wonderful you guys are, how much I love you guys, which I honestly do. I, I'm not doing this for the candles. As a matter of fact, I'm only doing this because I've noticed that you guys have a particular interest in Scorpio's lives, which you guys shouldn't because it's horrible <laughs> we go through so much you know but I think they do that because I think life is supposed to be harder for us because we are the zodiac we can take the hits and we can we're like the phoenix you know we can survive and we can go we can you know survive with success through any any situation that comes you know on our way so before I, I tell you how much you guys are, how wonderful you guys are, I want to explain my story starting from 2014. So 2014 is when I met you guys. And because of you guys, like, you guys have been great. And in comparison to other prophet, um, prophet, to other psychics who do the same thing you guys do on YouTube, you, your cart. Your guys' cards are more positive. <laughs> Everybody's else's are so negative and make me feel like I'm, uh, like I'm so, like, uh, like, they make me feel like life is so horrible, but I think it's the fact that, you know, before I watch these videos or when I watch these videos, like, I don't know, like, I'm just, I don't know, whatever that reason may be. But, so starting 2014 and on January, I met this wonderful Libra guy, gorgeous, good looking, and later I find out he has a moon in Virgo. Uh, my moon is in Capricorn. And we met, uh, I w he was job hunting, I was on my way to, to the bank really quick uh, to drop off my check before I go to class. and. He stops me, we start conversating, and he walks me to the bank, and once we come back to my school campus, he asks for my number. But, here's the thing. He doesn't contact me until late March. You know, almost April. You know, almost three months. And, I started seeing red flags. And I read cards. I read tarot cards. And pretty much, I don't know, I just couldn't understand why this would happen. I, I thought I gave a good impression to this guy. And he gave me, he showed me a sign of interest as well. And he invited me to go drink some coffee with him. We go. And right there he starts talking to me about how he just came out of a relationship in December and I thought to myself okay am I a rebound am I I don't know because Scorpio I mean Scorpio's Libras I know they're known for that you know they don't just get out of a relationship they, either they get out of one when they have someone already right there or when they get out of one they immediately start looking for someone else they don't want to they don't, I don't think they, I don't know if this is just me, that they, they don't necessarily want to, they just don't want to be alone. You know, for better or for worse. <laughs> and I've dated Libras before, I've, I've been there, you know, and I've been in similar situations, and I kind of didn't want, and then from there I just figured this guy's been serious, that this guy is just looking for fun, and I was willing to give him that. So pretty much, long story short, we saw each other one night. We met again. After he invited me over to his house that day, you know, when we went to go drink coffee. And I acted stupid. I was like, yeah, 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 tell me what time I show up to your place. I didn't show up. Nor did I uh, text him or let him know that I wasn't going to show up. I left it like that. I was upset. I was just like, I was just so pissed off how someone so amazing could be like this, you know. 
And not only that, how someone could not take someone like me serious. You know, especially someone who I, I feel like I'm someone who could be worthy of love and, and happiness and respect. And I feel like regardless of what he wants or what, or what he's not ready for, you know, I could have made him happy. You know, and he could have had a great time. I'm, you know, I'm a Scorpio. I'm, I'm adventurous. I like to travel. I, I like all kinds of stuff. I'm romantic, too. Well, I didn't show up. He hits me up another time to hang out. Well, I decided to have fun with it. So, especially because he said that he was going to pick me up. He had a car, and, you know, I figured if there's not going to be any effort on my part, well, you know, I might as well have fun with this. And, long story, um, well, I, when we started kissing, he kind of, um, noticed that I was being a little distant, that something was bothering me. And I noticed he was trying harder and harder and harder. And it was making me very uncomfortable. It started, I don't know, like it just, I don't know, like it just felt like he was just getting too all over me. And, you know, like I just felt like it was too much. And it got to a point where like he just like stopped kissing me. He looked at me straight in the face and he was just like, do you have a problem with that? And I was like, whoa, <laughs> you know, that's pretty straight up. And said no, I don't, you know, but it's just, you know, I'm going to believe someone's actions over their words, so, you know, whatever that night happened, it, um, it ended, I went home, um, he dropped me off home after our date, and I, I didn't hear from him, and I, you know, I didn't take it against him, I just figured he's not ready, he's lost, and, you know, I, I felt empathy, believe it or not, and I let it be, like, I totally forgot about him, and I went back on the dating scene, and as, uh, believe it or not, June, when June comes, you know, when Mercury goes retrograde, <laughs> he shows up, he texts and, uh, he was a little informal with his texts, so I kind of just started giving him excuses, telling him that I'm busy, I'm doing homework, you know, but I just started giving him excuses, I just didn't want him to know about it. And I was also doing it because I wanted to see his real intentions, you know, and I figured, you know, if if he's just wanting a distraction, he's going to leave eventually. And if he really wants something serious, he's going to stick around. And he's going to try harder. Well, he did. He tried harder. And I guess he got the point that he, was, he invited me out on a date. Well, I said yes, and I go. And he wasn't particularly happy to see me. I can see in his face he was kind of, like, upset. But, as we talked, you know, the tense, the tension went away, and we started having fun. And then, eventually, as, you know, it was going well, and eventually he holds me down. He tells me he wants to watch a movie. He wants to watch Zardoc, which is a stupid movie. And, um, whatever, and there's this other psychic that I like to watch online, her name is Rock and Roll Prophetess, something like that, and she was just saying that there was someone that was going to come in June to fulfill a soul contract, and it was up to me to, you know, if I don't make the move, this person will just kill me, and she said that the outcome, uh, he was going to be Well, basically, that's what ended up happening. Um, that date happened. Three days later, we 
for watching the movie. Thank God I wasn't sore dog. And, um, we had a good time. Actually, I, it was hard for me to see that it wasn't going to work out. You know, I was so positive about the situation. And I was meditating and making sure that no outside, you know, forces that are invisible to the naked eye were getting in the way. If you know what I mean. And I was just so happy. I felt so safe. He was, he shared things he's never shared with people before. Um, he showed me his journal. And I figured, you know, this was going to the next level. And um, this was on a Wednesday. I slept over. And the next morning he takes me home. Because I had to go to work. And he wanted to see me Friday. But I figured, you know, we saw each other too much. <laughs> you know, I I don't want him to get bored of me. Nor do I want to get bored of him so quickly. And I didn't want to move too quickly. I figured we started off on the wrong foot. We need to get to know each other better. You know, for the sake of the relationship. So I kind of, I didn't communicate that. But I kind of like gave him signs that maybe each other today, but at the same time, like, I was still talking to him, like, we were still texting for the next two weeks, week and a half, I mean, and then here comes the 19th of June, and I decided to invite him over, and yeah, I sounded a little informal in my text messages, but I mean, that wasn't my only intention, I figured, you know, I'm just going to invite him over, we're going to eat dinner, and I had a surprise for him. I, um, I had tickets to go see a movie, and I wanted to surprise him for that. I didn't want to tell him through a text, I wanted to do it in person. And pretty much, he took it the wrong way. And knowing because of the, and knowing that it's, Mercury retrograde, I was not surprised. And well, it ended there. He basically told me he met someone else and he realized he wanted something serious. And uh, though he had a great time, he still wanted something. He just kept insisting that he wanted something serious, and knowing Virgo, knowing Virgos, and because you know my older sister is a Virgo, and knowing Libras, because I grew up with Libras, I knew that he didn't just want to end it there. He wanted to kick me in the crotch with it, and it hurt. But I didn't take it against him. I knew what was going on. Mercury retrograde. So, all I said was, I apologize, I said I apologize, I thought you and I were, were getting, we're starting to get serious, because we started being affectionate, but I said, that's fine, have a great time, and that was that, but now I'm starting to see July for Libras and July for Scorpios, I'm starting to wonder who this new person is. You know, I'm, I see Libra for July, that there's a situation where he doesn't feel welcome in, where, in which he feels, in which he feels like he needs to be extra feminine. But first, of course, take time off and then be extra feminine in order to approach the situation and fix the situation. And then for me, I have this King of Wands. Not, he's, well, he's not a fire sign, but we'll see. I can see that in your cards in particular, for both him and I, the outcome seems to be positive. But in comparison to other psychics who do the same thing you do on YouTube, they say that it's not going to work out. That I'm just eventually going to just say that I don't care anymore. And what, to be honest with you, I'm just going to stick with the fact that I know that I do not know that I do not know. I'm just not going to assume 
that my perspective of whatever is happening, whatever happened, is just my perspective. Maybe there's something that I didn't see that I was doing that kind of just threw him off. But we'll see who's right. You or the other psychic. I can't wait to see that. Bye.